Is this thing on? Hey gang, uh, I just wanted to talk about uh, our, our first output project. You hear me saying the word output a lot. Um, as a graphic designer, I, I use the word output to, to talk about how we're printing our, uh, our, our object of graphic design. Now, in the BHS Make Lab, we've got a ton of different outputs. We've got printers, uh, both color, we've got vinyl cutters, CNC mills, screen printing equipment. We're gonna talk about uh, your first output on, um, by using a piece of equipment called the laser engraver. Um, the laser engraver is a fantastic piece of equipment, not only for graphic, des graphic artists, but sculpture artists or, or DIYers or, or makers of all, uh, all types. Um, people who wanna make gifts for other people, who wanna sell some, some things like jewelry or uh, they wanna make something and sell it at like an art fair. Um, we have the ability to, to cut and engrave a ton of different materials. We can cut and engrave plastics, leathers, anodized aluminum, wood and cardboard and paper and mat board. Your, your first output is going to be um, using your concepts and figuring out what we're gonna make with it. Um, I encourage you to answer the question, wouldn't it be cool if? Um, to, to stretch yourself outside the box instead of just cutting a, a piece of, or engraving a piece of wood, um, what if that wood was a, a cutting board that you made or bought? Or what if that piece of wood was um, a, a mixing spoon with your, and you engrave your, your grandma's um, chocolate chip cookie recipe on the back? So stretch your ideas. I'm gonna do a little project. I'm gonna create a, just a little mouse pad with a design on some black leather. Um, just to demo, just to show you how the, the equipment works. Um, we're gonna talk more about the equipment, but follow along as I show you how it works. All right, we are going to make a, uh, a nice little mouse pad out of this scrap piece of black leather. Uh, I'm gonna need my measuring tape and I'm gonna measure each side and that's gonna be the size of my artboard. Uh, my artboard is going to be nine inches by seven inches. But what if your object has uh, uh, some weird dimensions? Yes, those little lines on your tape measure mean something. And I actually laser engraved a decimal equivalency chart. Um, so you can see what 5 64th means as decimals. Because the laser engraver is so precise, we need to be able to, to do the decimals. All right, we got our piece of leather cut. Now let's set up our document. All right, so I'm gonna resize my artboard to the nine by seven inches, and then I'm gonna take my design and I'm going to, to, to mock it up a little bit to see how it looks. I'm gonna resize it, center it, change my background to kind of match the, uh, the color of my object, um, resize it, and just tinker with it to see uh, what kind of looks good. Um, make sure it's nice and centered. I'm going to go into outline mode and, uh, and make sure my, my stuff is path found or path finded and, um, outline. So, because when we transfer our designs over to the laser engraver computer, um, they're not going to have our font. So it's always good to outline your fonts. We're going to save our stuff on a flash drive and then bring it over to the printer. All right, we're gonna make our way over to the laser engraver. And now the, the laser engraver, it's important to, to, to turn it on and make sure it's running for a few minutes before we start our project. Uh, once it's on, we can change the depth of the laser by pressing focus and then the down arrow. If you wanted to cut something thicker, like a box or some thicker materials, you, you don't want uh, the laser hitting it. So we're just gonna drop it, um, drop the laser down just a little bit to set up our project. We're gonna reset it and now we're, uh, we're ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and place our material in the top left corner of our engraver bed, um, ensuring that it's nice and snug in that top left corner. That's like the zero, zero top left corner of your artboard. So the tighter the fit, the better the print. We're gonna plug our flash drive or whatever we saved our project onto into the computer and go ahead and find our project, open it up, um, once it opens up, uh, I like to, to double check things. I like to go into outline mode and make sure um, everything looks good. Remember, this is Adobe Illustrator on a PC, so it might feel a little bit differently, but it's still the same program. Uh, I'm gonna click File and then Print, like I'm printing to any other printer. Um, we want our document to look like our artboard, so we've gotta go up to Setup, 
and then click preferences. And this is gonna open up the Epilog printer preferences. This doesn't look like your normal print preferences. Um, it's always important to make sure it auto focuses. By checking autofocus, it's going to ensure that the laser in the computer check the, uh, the depth of our object um, and focus the laser accordingly. The next thing I'm gonna check is job type, all right? We're going to click raster here, and by clicking raster, we're telling the computer that we want to engrave an object and we don't wanna cut it out. So it's going to engrave whatever is black in our document. We're then gonna go down to piece size. We resized our artboard to match our material, so now we gotta tell the computer that's the size of the material. So again, I'm gonna put in nine inches by seven inches. And finally, we wanna change our raster settings. Now, raster settings is going to tell the, the engraver um, how fast we want it to engrave and how much power we want the laser to use. Uh, but Mr. Zimka, I don't know what that is. Um, on the side of the machine, I have designed and printed a speed and recommendation chart uh, that has uh, different materials on it, like mat board and plastic and wood and rubber and different things that you might be using. Um, in this case, um, I am going to be using leather, so I want to look at the, uh, the power settings for leather, and they're going to say 100 speed at 30% power. So in my preferences window, I'm going to change the speed to 100% speed and the power to 30% power. Um, and we're ready to go. So you are going to call me over to double check. Um, you will not print without my approval. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click print. Um, now, sometimes the, it glitches and we're just gonna click setup again and preferences or print again. Um, and then our artboard should change and look like exactly what we designed and now we are ready to go. Once we're ready to go, we're gonna click print. Before we click go on the printer, there's always gonna be a few things that I'm going to double check. I'm always gonna ask you, is this your file name? In my case, it was the wouldn't it be cool file. So it is ready to go. We can press go in just a second. As you can imagine, the laser engraver creates fumes and smell. So we have to turn on the ventilation equipment. We have a vacuum and a vent that's going to take the, uh, the smoke and the, the, the gross smell out of the room. So our vent and vacuum is plugged into a surge protector on the side of the machine. Um, we're going to go ahead and just click those on, turning on the vents, and now we're ready to print. All right, assuming we've done everything correctly, all we have to do is press go. And now the machine starts to engrave. It's first going to hover over the starting point and touch down to the top of our material, ensuring this is what autofocus does. It ensures how thick the material is. Um, once it's done that, it's gonna start swinging back and forth. The laser is gonna flip on and it's going to engrave our material. Depending on the size, it's going to take a few minutes. So I'm gonna time lapse this for you. You can see that took about three and a half minutes, but once our file is done, it's done. You can go ahead and open up the engraver. It's not gonna be hot. You can go ahead and check out your project. Um, it looks really, really good. Uh, that was just a simple, easy project. Um, again, uh, answer that question. Wouldn't it be cool if? I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Think outside the box and, uh, and let's get to this project. Good luck.